to many. Spring and summer means shorts, flip-flops, and t-shirts. To a select group of hoopers, it means living in a basketball gym. All playing for the right to be called elite. Because in the end, there's only 24 spots. And they ain't giving away. Nah, these reps are earned. This is the road to the Elite 24. New Orleans, Louisiana, aka the Big Easy. It's the birthplace of jazz music and hosts to one of the biggest carnivals in the United States. This is stop number one of the Under Armour Association. Josh Jackson from Detroit, Michigan. I play for One Nation out of Michigan. We're trying to win this thing here. Uh, we're gonna try to do it. We know it's gonna be hard, but uh, that's what we're trying to do. Whatever I can do to help my team win, I mean, I, I'm the type of guy I really don't care if, you know, I have a pretty bad game. It, as long as we win, I'm happy. I'm Terrence Ferguson from Dallas, Texas. I play for Molens Academy. Uh, we definitely come out with one of the best records, first of all. Uh, you know, this summer just improved on our game because our uh, last summer. I've just been a leader, running the team, you know, uh, people look up to me, especially my teammates, you know, they, they, they think I'm the man, that's, that's, that's my title for the team, so they, they expect me to do what everybody expects me to do, which is take over and uh, get my team involved, get a W. The Under Armour Association is an elite travel basketball league. Teams from all over the United States will compete in three different cities in order to make it to the finals, where only one champion will be crowned. All our games are tough, down to the end, uh, but we play, you know, start off slow so you can pull it out. Uh, I gotta be way more aggressive. Uh, my performance so far has been just horrible. Uh, definitely not playing my game, definitely not hitting shots like I usually do, not attacking the rim, not getting dunks, not getting my team involved. So I have to pick that up, I know that for sure. Um, Trayvon Duval, play for We Are One, now I'm from Newark, Delaware. Oh uh, yeah, you know, since Delaware isn't, you know, known for basketball, whatever, uh, I feel as if, you know, it's my time to, you know, put Delaware on, try to show, the, show people that Delaware has good basketball players and that we also are one of the good states for basketball. It doesn't matter who I'm playing against. It doesn't matter who's in the crowd. I approach every game the same. I, I always want to win. I may not play good, but... I'm still gonna try hard, I'm gonna rebound, I'm gonna defend. I'm doing whatever it takes to win. So, you know, I'm, I may not score a lot of points, but I'm still trying to win the game.
I expect us to make it to the to the finals and also win. And personally, I just want to, you know, build as a uh, grow as a player, get better, and help lead my team. Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Kentucky Derby and Colonel Sanders. This is stop number two of the Under Armour Association. Man, look at this dude, man. What's going on, dude? I got a swing. Yeah. Who won it? Who won it? Who won it? With the left. With the left. With the left. Hey. Okay, look. Oh, he can't see nothing. He can't see nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, we actually had a practice, like a, a team practice. Work hard. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We work hard every week. Can't go on for them. Yeah, but we had our first team practice together. So, like everybody came together, not just some of us. So that probably helped us get our chemistry right. Yeah. We scrimmaged a lot. We had like a. It was a long practice though. No, we need that. Yeah, we, we just spent time together, like yeah, went to blues and stuff like that. Yeah, oh, chill. Yeah, that's, that's some teams don't do. They don't. They don't spend no time with each other. Yeah, we try to do that the most. Like that's what it's all about. Was having fun with each other. It's twelve twenty. We play in like fifty five minutes. Oh, it's not. That's why it's twelve twenty. Come on, man. Hop up. Let's go, everybody. Hey, me and Billy, 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 me we ain't 2018. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. 500 shots in the morning, and then after school, I'll get up at least more, 500 more. It's great because you know the player, like the defender, don't know how to guard you. He don't know if you want to drive it or shoot it. So they they have like you have options, so it's easier to play. Yeah, had a rough start at first, and then uh, went one and three, you know, horrible. But then we, we came together as a team, had a practice, our uh, first practice actually, last Saturday. You know, just had build chemistry. Came out strong this time, keep it rolling. Thank you. Being from Detroit, uh, it's affected my game. It, it made me play tougher, play harder. I mean, you can ask anybody who's ever watched me play. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll back that statement up. Um, Detroit is kind of a tough place to live in, but you know, playing basketball is it's pretty much the same. It's a lot of hard faced basketball. You know, people play hard. They push you all the time, and that's what I come out here and get whenever I'm playing against somebody. You know, grab me, push me, but I'm already used to it because I've been doing this my whole life. Throughout the game, I, I had no idea that I was scoring that much. Um, what was crazy was I, I didn't shoot a free throw throughout the whole game. It was pretty much all jump shots and, and one dunk. I don't know. Shots were just going in. It happens like that sometimes. Basketball is 
it's both a job and, you know, it's for fun. Um, I wouldn't be playing basketball if I didn't have fun playing, so. But then again, it is my job, it's what I do. And basketball is pretty much my life. My life. Usually, like, before I walk out on the court, or when I walk out on the court, when we're about to do the jump ball, like, I just close my eyes and I just, like, get in a type of zone where I'm, like, all right, ready to play and I'm ready to kill. session with three and oh we're still a little sloppy we don't have a, a lot of chemistry as you know we could but we're still winning and I think we can still be a better team I'm one of the youngest on the circuit right now playing seven teams uh, I'm just trying to prove myself that I'm one of the best players regardless of class so when I play up play against the older guys I'm just so and everybody that I can hang with After two grueling stops in the Under Armour Association, it was time for 30 select guards to learn from the one and only 2015 NBA MVP and world champion, Steph Curry. My name is Dennis Smith, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, it's kind of tough, you know. I think it's giving me a toughness. There's a lot of old, older guys in Fayetteville that didn't really get anywhere, but they could play basketball with anybody you put them up against. So um, I learned again. I learned a lot from those guys. What I'm working on is keeping everything tight, keeping my handle tight, keeping my jump shot right, and uh, staying sound on offense and defense. This, this month I've started lifting a lot more weights. Uh, I go up and get my shots up, and um, I'm working on eating right. That, that's one of the biggest things. And, and not overdoing it, you know, that's an important part too. Is getting ready. The biggest part for me learning is during the film sessions, you know, we talk a lot and we watch the things he does and we try to translate it into our own game, so probably I'll probably say tempo. He's so smart, he makes the right decision 90% of the time. It helps him dominate the game. It's not always about how much you work, but what you decide to work on. For these young men, this is just the beginning of a long road. On the next episode, we look back at nine years of Elite 24 and speak with alumni and the man who created the event. The heartbeat of the game is outdoors. That was really creating a platform for kids to get back to really the heart and soul of just playing basketball. Being in a 
Elite 24 game would mean a lot to me. You know, I played in it last year, and it was like the most fun I had all summer. You know, with basketball, um, it's a really nice event, nice setup. Uh, the guys they invite out, they invite out all the right guys, best talent, and it's just a great game. And we have a lot of fun off the court too. This is what happens. You make shit this time. No, I'll be really honored if I was selected to play in the Elite 24 game. I remember I went to the, the very first one where it was in Rucker Park. Uh, I was about seven, eight, and uh, ever since then I said I wanted to play in that game. Elite, Elite 24, right? Yeah, I'd definitely like to be back. I, I got invited last year and it was a blessing, so I would love to be back this year. Oh, it's definitely where I go. Uh, we've been talking about, actually me and my teammates have been talking about that, uh, making our Elite 24. We all want to make it, you know, it's, uh, it's a big event, it's a big honor event. Everyone goes there, or well, everyone hopes they go there. But it's an amazing, that one last year, it was amazing. That's what happened, you make shit, it's timeless.